Hello everybody, it is Hero the Japanese Train here, back at it again with the first customs video I've done in ages. It's, it's been a while, but I'm here again with Merlin, the invisible engine from Journey Beyond Sodor, the upcoming Thomas and Friends movie. And I have to say, the reception that I got for this custom on Twitter was phenomenal. Like, you guys really love this custom. And I, it, it really, you know, makes me feel all that more special and happy because I, I dare say that this is one of my best customs. I'm just really proud of this, you know? And um, so the front of this custom, I made using a Mattel Gordon, or not a Mattel Gordon, a uh, old style Gordon, and a um, Henry Tender, of which I whittled the wood down for that to give the Tender its distinct Merlin shape, because Merlin is based on a King Arthur class, which I believe it was at the N15s on the Southern Railway. Could be wrong on that, but... Um, all you fact checkers in my comment section will get that one for me. But um, I used, let's see, I used a really awesome silver paint for this. I didn't even know I had it until I sat down and made this thing. And it just, it sparkles. It's a lot like the Trackmaster Merlin that just kind of gives it that shine. You can always, it's, it'll be like the first thing your eye sees when you look at it on a set or on a layout. And um, see, it's got the ledge back there still. And this part, you will remember from my live stream, this is what I was working on most during that. I was I was cutting into there, and actually, if you can see that, um, this little crease here on the top of the cab, well, the, the top of the roof, the top of the cab just kind of popped off. Um, I was just working on that, and I had to super glue that and everything, and um, this actually isn't completely just a cutting. I cut too much on this side of it, and um, ended up having to stuff that with uh, wet paper towel pieces, and then, um, and sealed that in. Same thing with right here behind the smoke box. And um, I used acrylic paints for this and actually for the wheels. The reason that they look so glossy is because um, it's something my girlfriend recommended to me is that I use like a clear nail polish over the wheels after I painted them so that they don't chip and they get that you know little shine. And finally, or the, some of the other details here, um, per the recommendation of Enterprising Engine 93, who's helping me out with this video, um, I used a Mattel Reneus face, which it just it captures Merlin so well, so perfectly that I like I I can't think of any other face now that I would potentially have ever used. It's just perfect. And um, the three funnels here were done using drinking straws. Actually, I had a, I was just sitting there with a cup. And they had a straw in it, and I, I was like, huh, they could work. And I just super glued them on there, painted them, or used a marker, Sharpie marker, on there to make that, and it was just perfect. It, it really looks great. And the smoke deflectors are made out of cardboard from a shoebox. And then the Henry tender that I used for this, actually, it was an old-style tender that I whittled down on both sides to give it that distinctive look. Um, I freehanded the 783 as I did all the other details on the engine, and then for the coal bit, I, um, I had cut that down so it fit, and gave it that final shape and gave it that final look. And on the bottom I added my own little touches. And so, that's that for Merlin, and I have to say, I'm really curious to see what they'll do with him in Journey Beyond Soda. The most I've seen is that he kinda does a little bit of that, and uh, he sings, and. I'm not, I'm not too keen on the bouncing, but that's a whole Pandora's box of arguments that would just be opened if I continued to talk about that. But um, other than that, uh, let me know what you guys think about this custom. With all the lining and all the what have you just kind of stuck on in there. And it's just, it's something that came out very well for me. And I've even gotten commissions requests just for Merlin in the past. So I, I'm very happy with how this custom came out. And so just let me know what you guys think about this custom in the comments. I know that um, in the recent times, you guys have come to really love my customs, and I, I appreciate every moment of that. So with that, this is Hero the Japanese Train, signing off. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope that you'll stick around and see some more of my upcoming content and more customs, of course. I'm going to be trying to make as many JBS characters as possible. So with that, this is Hero the Japanese Train with my new custom of Merlin from Journey Beyond Sodor. Signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Matt, 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 I'm running out of cars! Oh my oh, god. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, guys! I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, I'm uh, Matt, I didn't mean it.